it just, just uh, I mean, I know this is a tree for us, but the one specific one, the mortgage holder, if we had, if Brian and Mike assigned, if Marcus signed their interest, then the mortgage holder can take the property back. And it, this is, it's just an example. That's one that's kind of, and Stephanie's involved in that, and there's lots of people get hurt, and it's just a, an well, example. It's not um, one that we're, um, it's not one it, where there's yeah. any value because, um, well, we're, we, we haven't listed, that, I mean, we're, we got it out there, it's listed at a price that will get some money to the creditors if we can find it. I mean, we, we, we kind of want to leave it out there listed, and the only way to, to make the thing work for now is that we're going to have to do the management, we're losing our manager, if we, if we got to pay a manager, it, it's going to be feeding that money, same money every month. So, I mean, it's just a real specific one that we want to try to we want to try to get some value out of it if we possibly can, and but so and we are getting you know the enforcement tree thing, but uh, that's just an example of there. There's a there's a property that we'd love to sit down as you guys do well, your valuation and talk to you about yeah. what we know about the property and what work we've done because that is we're talking about Century Drive and Walmart, ten acres of R H property in West Side Bend. No, <laughs> not, not R -M. R -M. R -M. It's, it's R M. It's RM, but it has the ability. Okay, so but, but the point is that may be one. Go back to the discount rate. They may very well want to say, okay, we're going to come in and we'll, to what degree this, this trust will help fund this if it's necessary. But we don't. We want to sell this in ten years, or we want to sell this in five years. I, I don't even know. But there's a there's a huge upside in that property once our current situation changes. It's just, but right now there's probably no value in that property, and mm -hmm. and so it's it's just one of those. We just want to make sure that there will be a, okay. I want to make sure there's an avenue for that kind of input. We don't care about our, we want all of our interest to go to credit. Right, right. And, uh, but there's also some other people in there that can potentially, if we assign and put in default, we just screw them over. And and these are conversations we know we have to have, but when, when you ask why I haven't asked you questions or why you and I haven't asked you questions, we haven't been in a position to do that. We've been looking through all the files. We haven't, I mean, that's what Kevin was saying. Things are changed a little bit. If we're in that position as a trustee or whatever else, I have tons of questions for you, but we're not in a position to make decisions on any of the properties. So, and, and I, you would ask me why haven't you asked questions, or I mean, I would answer those questions for you, but I wasn't in a position to specifically go property by property and ask you those questions. I have a laundry list of questions on every single one of those. And that's what we want to do. We just haven't been in that spot to do it yet. It's not a matter of like not wanting to ask you. We know that the people in this room can explain that file better than anybody else, or whoever else is involved. Well, that's not necessarily true either. Or whoever, yeah. I've got a guy saying the property and said all these guys think they own it in this. No, I mean, I get that. discovered it's not, you know. Right, we, we did. did. Yeah. Well, no, it's, yeah. there are yeah. some yeah. of those surprising one, what the yeah. hell? And that's, that's but, not, yeah, but that's it's not, not it, it's, um, God, it, you know, what we're saying is there are a number of things that we have ownership interests or properties that we are really concerned not only about the partners getting screwed but about getting the most value and if if i could hear i want to hear that someone's going we know that we need to figure out solutions to that and work with it instead this just this general assignment just do it is to me a, a scary thing i don't know that it's the best for the creditors yeah, I, I, and I, I, I know that, but that's the creditors expected, saying that, Mark, not uh, I know, but I expected for okay. you, you guys a property by property analysis of going, we got, we got a difference. Here's these properties. <coughs> Here's a truck. You know, these until are just, we have the operating agreements, we can't, we, we can't read something we don't have. Right. Well, I know you have some of them. We got some of them, but we don't have. You'd be surprised how many we don't have. So am I hearing that um, with all the information, you guys will do the due diligence work. Um, we have to. Right. Job. Right. Okay. And then, you know, um, you guys' intention here is to get the most back to the creditors, but... Not only that, it's our economic incentive. Right. <laughs> right. And then um, the only concern I have is this mobile home park, there was a 74-year-old man who um, had to go back and work at this mm -hmm. park and he did an exchange and exchanged into this park and the money from that exchange went to inland. So that's why we're hurting 
so bad on his part, and he has nothing. If if that one goes into default and we are not able to get it out of the hands of the seller financer, he loses the 900000 he put in there, and that was the whole of his wealth. So, yes. I mean, that's a, that's a real personal thing for us, and to go, okay, transport, put it in default, and just just let this guy just suffer the consequences. Just, it's not morally right for me. Well, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I, I hear you. I, I'm going to talk to David Breaker. He's got some ideas he wants to discuss with me. I've got some ideas to discuss with him. He's got some other things he wants to talk about. I'm, I'm happy to, to do that. Is there a way?